What is the craziest thing you've ever witnessed at a party? I saw a guy eat frozen pizza rolls. Not the craziest thing that has ever happened, but for some reason I'm still not over it. Some guy at a college party took a fish out of the host's aquarium and put it on the grill to cook it alongside the hamburgers and hot dogs. Needless to say, the host was mortified as this fish was their special pet. Last Halloween I watched a drunk guy jump from the third story of an apartment building, then get up and walk away unscathed. He probably died but was too drunk to notice. On Halloween I watched a guy dressed as Jesus standing on top of a frat house drinking boxed wine claiming it was water a few minutes ago. An hour later I saw the same Jesus being arrested for public indecency. Watched two guys try to jump over a bonfire at the same time from opposite directions, they collided mid-air and landed in the fire. Saw a passed out girl get dicks drawn on her face and sharpie. Passed out girl was actually dead girl who overdosed. The most raucous gathering that I ever attended would have to be the one that almost ran out of alcohol. Now, right away, that probably sounds like a recipe for a pretty mundane evening. After all, there's apparently an unwritten social rule which stipulates that any gathering of a dozen or more strangers must include an ample supply of ethanol, or else it runs the risk of being unforgivably boring, and probably a little bit awkward. That wasn't at all the case with the party in question, though, thanks to a unique system that was implemented when the makeshift bar was in danger of running dry. Put simply, anyone who wanted a drink would have to exchange a piece of clothing for it. The evening had started much like you'd probably expect, insofar as there was a fair amount of intoxication, hesitant flirting, and occasional light-hearted naughtiness. After the hostess announced her system of barter, though, the situation escalated by leaps and bounds. Within mere minutes, almost everyone present had disrobed above the waist, and a few folks, most of them male, had exchanged absolutely all of their modesty in order to keep their red cups filled. It certainly made the setting a lot more interesting, and not just because people were suddenly very careful about where they kept their hands. It didn't take long for the combined effects of drunkenness and nudity to result in some rather graphic behavior, and the catalyst came when one young woman took up residence on a recliner in the corner of the darkened living room. She had chosen to remove absolutely all of her clothing except for her socks, which had been deemed unacceptable as currency, and she seemed to be thoroughly delighted by the not very subtle attention that she was drawing. In fact, Putting herself on display apparently aroused her to the point where she couldn't keep her hands off herself. And although she started off discreetly enough, a cheer soon erupted from the rest of the room as she started openly masturbating. That was all it took. People broke off into couples, or trios, the unmistakable aroma of arousal filled the air, and everyone seemed well on their way to having a night of reckless carnality. Everyone, that is, except for me. See, I was in a committed relationship at the time, and although a part of my brain was screaming at me to stay and enjoy the festivities, even if only as an observer, I knew that my continued presence at the party probably wouldn't have been appreciated by my paramour. With a heavy heart and a sigh, I wound up taking the last look at all that was occurring, silently cursing myself, then walking out into the cold night air. Leaving that party remains one of my greatest regrets in life. Although on the plus side, I suppose I learned a fair amount about supply and demand. Found a dead person in my lawn the morning after. That was crazy. Drank too much and mixed it with whatever pills. Went to wake him up, but he was dead. Party at a cabin in the woods in Quebec. The DJ is great, the dance floor is lively, there's a good mix of people you know and people you don't. The lights are dim and there's good energy. Suddenly, there's naked guys on the dance floor. A cheer goes up and some other ambitious folks, suddenly realizing the party could go full naked, take their cue and doff their garments. The dance floor loses a bit of momentum, but the naked people are putting out some great energy so nobody minds. Then the whispers start. Nobody knows who they are. The naked guys. They don't speak English, which is normal, because it's Quebec but they don't sound like they're speaking French either. And nobody knows who they are. We head out to the porch, and there's three sets of ski tracks that lead from the forest to the cabin, three sets of skis, and no context. 
Eventually it turns out that they were three Norwegian tourists, staying at the local hostel, out for a naked ski through the countryside at one in the morning when they heard a party going on, and invited themselves in. The editor of the local paper was there. They made front page. Saw a guy drop and shatter an entirely full beer bottle on the floor. I was the only one to saw him. He immediately fled the scene. When people started to surround the broken glass, a random person asked who made this fucking mess. The guy reappeared and said, I bet some fucking chode and he started cleaning it up. Well played guy. Floor caved in at an apartment party. The carpet was the only thing holding everyone up. People were falling, others were trying to climb up the carpet wall that led into the kitchen to try and escape the building. I felt bad for the dude that lived below. Shit was outrageous. I was at a party that my friend had invited me to, it was in the hotel room at a pop culture convention so most everyone in the hotel was partying to some extent. I mostly just sat awkwardly in the corner while everyone did shots out of a guy's ass, all he was wearing was a jock strap. At some point someone bursts into our room, the door was slightly ajar, and asks if anyone is a doctor. The ass shots guy sits up, sending the shot glasses flying and yells I'm an EMT and runs out of the room. He relocated the girl's shoulder and waited with her until the ambulance came. Land shark. Was at a party and someone yelled land shark. Out comes a naked dude with a frisbee in his ass crack, carried ass up by like four guys. It was fun running away from him. I went to a Halloween costume party a few years ago, kind of tagging along with my older brother, I was right at the end of my teens, he was in his mid-twenties. I only knew a few people at a party, as most of the attendees were people my brother knew but I'd never met. There was one girl dressed as a sexy clown who my brother pointed out to me as having a bit of a history of doing weird sexual shit, being dared to insert various things into various holes, run around the block naked during the night, etc., who suddenly announced to the people near her that she had a party trick to show us. She then proceeded to pull down her baggy clown trousers, reach into her cave of wonders, and slowly extract a long string of colorful handkerchiefs, whilst cheerfully singing Fuchik's Entrance of the Gladiators, the old cliché circus theme. I was kinda pissed, but my friend invited me to a swingers party without telling me what was going on. I was at a party, standing at the basement door while a small group of people passed a joint. The entrance to the door was slightly below ground level, so we were standing in a depressed concrete area in front of the door with the ground above at about waist height. In front of us, at eye level, was an old lawn mower, the kind you would pull the cord and curse at while it refuses to start. Puff, puff, pass in the quiet of the night when suddenly a loud thud and a body from above lands horizontally, back first, across the lawn mower, having fallen from the balcony above. His arms quickly grab his chest as one might be expected to do during a traumatic aortic dissection. There is a sigh-like gurgling noise from him and then nothing. He is not moving and we are 100% certain he is deceased. I feel like the life force is leaving him as his arms, now awkwardly across his chest, start to slowly unfold, past parallel toward the ground. His right arm has now entered our space, hand open and limp at the wrist, fingers hanging down and looking very corpse-like. Slowly, eerily, his index finger and thumb begin to move together until the tips are touching. His body language is unmistakable, so we pass him the joint and he takes a long haul. Somehow, he was completely unharmed. After the shrooms hit, I was feeling on the verge of a breakdown freak out, so I went into the chill room and found a spot on the floor. A while later I noticed there was a rat in my lap that I was betting. Strangely, the guy next to me could see it too. Turns out it was the host's pet. Friendly enough for a rat, we chatted for a while before he moved on to a different lap. My friend Pete worked on a girl for two hours and finally got her upstairs. About 15 minutes later she came running down the stairs screaming, it's in my eye. And it burns. Even though her friends helped her wash out her eye, it got all red like she had pink eye. To this day, we call him Texas Pete because he apparently he shoots hot sauce out his dick. Hotel party, 20 some 20 somethings crammed into a motel 6 room drinking and smoking. At a certain point in the night the guy who actually bought the room, who I didn't know, 
said I'm gonna go to bed but I'm just gonna sleep in my van so y'all can keep partying. A cheer goes up he leaves night continues and fades into black. I wake up the next morning on the floor of this hotel room with no one else there, totally alone. I stumble out of the room into the parking lot and parked right outside the door is a cop car and ambulance and some small commotion but I leave unnoticed. I walk to a nearby dinner and saw some kids from last night who informed me that the guy whose room it was went back to his van but not to sleep but to smoke meth and he had overdosed and died during the night. The little crew that had formed during that time going to parties like that, this was in NorCal, disbanded after that. Ah, youth. My friend kicked a girl in her chest right off the patio 300 style. I walked in on my friend's fiancé getting drilled on the bathroom counter by a dude who was decidedly not her fiancé while some other guy stood in the corner jacking off his floppy uncircumcised dick. I guess he was up next. <laughs>